Rolanda Scardazzini, who is a longtime ICANN member. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. We appreciate that. My pleasure. You have served as a GAC member, a GAC vice chair and vice chair of ALAC. How have your involvements with these various groups shaped your opinion about ICANN as an international organization? Well, that's Brazil. I'm from Brazil, and Brazil has been involved with um, the internet since John Postel and to get the dot BR. So uh, I was in that time, 1909, time, and before that, during some time as a National Secretary for Information Technology. And because of that, the dot BR organization at that mm -hmm. time, uh, just a project, uh, was under this secretariat. So what happened is uh, I need to be involved. Mm -hmm. And uh, beforehand, I sent my director to that. And it happens that my director just uh, asked for leave the civil servant. I was not civil servant, but uh, he was. And uh, he decided to go uh, for another challenge, and uh, suddenly I need to, to go and attend this meeting because uh, no other guys were, you know, with knowledge enough to attend that meeting, so I went there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was um, in the beginning of, uh, we starting in 99, but uh, the first one I went to was uh, Los Angeles, 2000. Uh, okay. So, uh, and quickly, um, it was just a few members mm -hmm. in the GAC in that time. Paul Tum was the, 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 the chair. And um, we s quickly become very uh, active that's uh, my personality to be involved mm -hmm. and uh, try to do things and so on. So uh, things are start to growing, and uh, I start to be involved with that, involved with dot br, and uh, make things happen in the country. Think about how to get more involvement of the people, and uh, finally I became vice chair. The government changed. I left the government, but I continued to represent Brazil uh, till 2004. How important is it that I can be an international organization? I believe that is uh, quite important for the developing countries because be uh, a more global. Uh, let's make some distinction for the UN situation. Because most of developing countries uh, have been participating in the UN as international meetings around. But this means just government. Mm -hmm. And the government talking by themselves only uh, it's like a narrow view of uh, what is going on. And uh, what I can have offer for the governments at that time is the opportunity to talk in the same issue, to make decisions in the same issue, talking with the other interest people. So not just government officials, but everybody, the but private the, sector is too. Everyone, everyone with interest. So other views. Other views. It was quite new, it's still new for the governments, but was quite new in that time. Most of the government very close. And I came from business area and was in the government in that time. So I do believe in the model uh, that uh, multi stakeholder model. Mm -hmm. So we built dot BR organization and structure in the multi-stakeholder model. So it was also important for us to copy the model inside the country. 
for maximum inclusion. For more uh, facility to have other voice, understand one issue that is uh, very actually active in, in the country, independent of the govern, and to put govern inside what is going on with the society. It, it is difficult for some countries to understand the ICANN model, that it's not government. Yes, right? it's very difficult, very difficult. And uh, most for uh, this, the, the, the governments that are more, more traditional, that is not open for society or is not the kind of the government that uh, loves to manipulate individuals because uh, for countries that uh, wants to manipulate individuals to have their voice but you know control it mm -hmm. it's good but you know if you control if you don't control you don't want to how difficult is it? Governments are used to controlling things. That's what governments do. do. In the ICANN model, governments have a voice, but they're not the only voice. No, uh, yes. That's, uh, for me, that is the beauty things of ICANN. And I do believe that the, the, gov the UN in the future, will take some time, but in the future, we'll get this model because the, the populations around the world are now al be allowed to take a voice and they will never give up from that voice. So with the time, uh, people will push to this model. You're actively involved with the next generation of internet governance leaders. How important is it to these young people who are new to our world, how important is it that this be an international organization? Well, it is quite, quite important because for two things. First, we need continually refreshing our minds because, uh, like me, you become addicted to, to ICANN and the way the things are doing, you get involved and uh, you become addicted. And uh, like all addictive issues, you become narrow and narrow and narrow. So you need to keep in touch all the time with new minds Be challenged. around. Be challenged. People question, people bring new ideas, shake you up, you know, that is not anymore the issue. That is very, very good because you grow up, you learn each meeting. Each meeting, someone that is coming for the first time, you make you a question that you cannot answer. And that is very, very challenging and it's amazing. That's the thing that makes you addict. So you, what you're saying is we can learn as much from their questions as they can learn from yeah. our answers. Yes, sometimes, sometimes. They can learn a lot from our experience, of course, because it's not easy to get into this world. It's a closed world. How important was the IANA stewardship transition in terms of expanding ICANN's international acceptance? Uh, I believe it was fundamental, fundamental. We had, not from many years ago, a lot of pressure from many governments, from the BRICS, Brazil included, and uh, from the BRICS, from many others that, uh, you know, just follow, and the small countries that just fall in the region, opinion, and blah, blah, blah. So they believe that um, it was time to get out from the United States, even if the United States does nothing in IANA issue. So 
But it was very impossible for those people around in the government to understand this fact. So I have talked around in Brazil, Latin America, explain how things move. It's just an email, they said. It's nothing. But anyway, people had a feeling that they are dependent on the decision of the United States. Mm -hmm. And uh, during Obama time, this uh, became more, you know, relaxed. Relaxed because he looks like not American. And, uh, you know, people around feel more comfort. Oh, the United States is open, is opening, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. So things uh, become more, you know, easy to deal mm -hmm. with. But with the opportunity during the process to Trump, things become more uncomfortable. Pe people are more nervous. Nervous, very nervous about if it, Trump goes, so we're going to be forever under the United States. And these people, we, we don't know what they're going to do, so better to think in another way. And uh, you have China thinking about other, other internet and India and Russia. So Brazil start to move the government, so we are more calm down in that in that situation. But anyway, the idea to get solved this issue is a very fundamental step forward for the internationalization, the globalization of ICANN for now on. What is the greatest risk to the globalization of ICANN? Well, uh, I do believe that uh, the risk is uh, lack of market and lack of knowledge. Because to be global, you need to have a brand that very everyone recognizes. So if you don't have a brand that is recognized around and recognized for, you know, old people, new people, you know, kids around, so that brand, you're going to lose market. Other brands can grow up. So it's the same here. So what is lacking, in my opinion, in ICANN, a more aggressive marketing? very professional and aggressive. So does market. marketing equal globalization? It's a, yes, market allows globalization to grow. So if you don't have that market. You, you, you know, n nobody in the world can stay in the same position or you grow or you go down. So like any business around. So you need to Make yourself more recognition, recognized by the population. And uh, I have done this in Latin America area for many years. Many years. This is my 51 mm -hmm. meeting in ICANN. Wow. So that is, uh, I have done with the help also of uh, my co one colleague from ICANN, local in, in Brazil, Daniel Fink, we talk around every place we go, every place I go, I have uh, some slides that I use and talk. My students are uh, teaching uh, post-graduation in university. I, it's not uh, about that, but anyway, in the discussion of policy, I put an example of ICANN and invite them to understand and blah, 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 make uh, papers, everything. So even that, most of the people in my town has no clue about what is ICANN means. ICANN is such an unusual model. Yes. It, it's with very policy new. coming up from the bottom instead of a typical organization yes, yes, yes. where the rules yes, go down. Yes, someone has a clue. Do people easily understand that? Well, uh, when they, they have the information, they love it. They love it, the idea. Some governments, no. 
But most of the population loves that. Business people, everybody loves the idea to have this construction because they know how the world is becoming. And that's the way internet allowed the, the, the model to work. So what happened is they much they must you know use this approach of the model to market as a, the only one organization that uh, is running successfully uh, in the in that future model so it's the model for the future sounds like what what you're telling me is that the marketing has to increase to increase the globalization. Yes. That's what needs, needs to, happen. to happen. Anything else? Well, uh, to do that, you need to involve people, engage people, and not only engage people, maintain people engaged. This is two things not so easy to do. ICANN is doing a pilot now that is quite interesting for the community, this is onboard community pilots, and uh, I do believe that um, I was in the session this uh, this meeting, and uh, I really love th that's what is needed because what we have now in ICANN, we have people, each constituents doing their market itself, and. Uh, you know, like in a, not in a professional way, let's say clear, not a professional way. So a bunch of, uh, you know, slides or something like that, that uh, most of them by doing by some nerds like me. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's not for easy understanding. Yeah. Not, not only the model, not, it, this needs to go to the school for you know people with uh, 11 years old to understand from where i you know internet Simpl comes from simplify what it's about yeah so, you know make it simple make it clear many languages around and make people understand the future is that we need that for continue to use your model that's great so it's a marketing, professional marketing issue. I'm an engineer, but I... Uh, but you I, understand the need. I understand the need because I run many uh, many organizations and uh, companies in, in my country, and it's necessary. Vanda Scardazzini, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to yeah, us. Yeah, it was my pleasure. And uh, I do believe that uh, there is a lot of people that is, uh, really love the idea to make this grow, really, and make this global and understood by most of the people, because it deserves. Yeah, I understand. Thank you.